Sometimes babies need breast tissue compressed to achieve a deeper latch and prevent nipple trauma. This is commonly known as the sandwich hold. When we eat a sandwich, we automatically compress the sandwich to fit into our mouths by placing our fingers on the top and bottom of the sandwich across from our nose and chin. To achieve a sandwich hold, we want the fingers on opposite sides of the breast across from the nose and chin of the baby. Bring the fingers together and compress the breast tissue, forming a breast sandwich. In addition to forming a sandwich, putting extra pressure on top of the breast will tilt the nipple upward towards the baby's nose. This is known as an asymmetric or off-center latch. As you can see here, the nipple is not centered in the baby's mouth when latching. The baby appears to be taking in more of the areola that is under the nipple than on top. Here is another example of the baby latching asymmetrically with the nipple pointing up, allowing the nipple to flip down deep into the baby's mouth upon latch. Sometimes women need to maintain the sandwich hold throughout the feeding to keep the baby deeply latched. If mom has difficulty remembering where to put her fingers, have her think of eating a sandwich. Place fingers across from the nose and chin to get a big bite. Mom's fingers will always be across from the baby's nose and chin. When the baby opens wide, it may help to put pressure to the baby's upper back and bring the baby in closely to help achieve a deeper latch. Here are a few more examples of sandwich hold and asymmetric latch being used together for a deep and comfortable latch. Keep the baby close by providing good back support.